Hey, what's up everyone? John here from testpreppinsight.com. And today I'm gonna to be doing a side-by-side -side comparison of the two biggest MCAT prep courses, Kaplan and Princeton Review. It's been a couple of years since we last took a look at these two courses side by side, and there's been some shakeups with how these programs work. So today we're gonna to take a fresh look at how these courses compare, and I'll let you know which one I think is better. And by the way, I should just mention up front here that since I'll just be focusing on the highlights in this video, if you find you need more detail at any point, you can always check out our full detailed written comparison to these two courses over on our website. An easy way to get there is just to Google Test Prep Insight Kaplan vs. Princeton Review MCAT. It's a quick way to find it. Okay, so to keep this video on the shorter side and focused on the key differentiators between these courses, I'm not going to provide a detailed overview and review of how each course works. Both of these MCAT programs are so comprehensive that a technical breakdown like that would take an hour. It would just be too much, and I want to keep this video more to the point. Not to mention, I already have granular review videos on each MCAT course if you do want to get into the nitty gritty detail which you can check out. I'll have those linked down below in the description which you can use to jump on over and check those out at any point. Instead, what I want to do in this video is basically describe the big differences between these courses and where I see each having advantages and winning over the other. I'm hoping this will help you figure out which program will be a better fit for you based on your learning style and desired features and budget. Plus, at the end, I'll give you a quick verdict and tell you which one wins overall based on our rating. So with that in mind, let's dive in and start with Kaplan. And Kaplan, in my opinion, wins in four key areas. They've got better on-demand video lessons, a superior course structure, more realistic practice tests, and it's generally speaking more affordable. So let's work down that list in order. So the first highlight of the Kaplan course, in my opinion, is their revamped video lessons. Their new video lessons are simply awesome and they are now some of the best in the space. They're engaging and have all of the key elements that we always look for. On-screen instructors, helpful visuals and graphics, short length, high yield content. They are just very, very engaging and good. And compared to Princeton Review's on-demand video lessons, it's a night and day difference. Princeton's video lectures look like they're straight out of the 90s or something with a slideshow style approach, metallic audio voiceover, and a grainy pixelated screen. Basically, they are in dire need of an upgrade. But it's not even just the delivery of the videos. The content in the Kaplan videos is also better. They stick to the high yield content, the instructors do an awesome job of communicating some tough concepts, and they weave in test taking strategy in a very smart way. Honestly, if you're thinking of going the on-demand self-paced route rather than taking live online classes, Kaplan has a very strong advantage because of these video lessons. Between these two, Kaplan's videos are a slam dunk win. Then second, another area where Kaplan has a nice advantage is with their core structure. For one, the order of their material tends to progress more naturally than Princeton Review's subject-based groupings. And for two, Kaplan has integrated all of their study materials together within their online platform and it works really well. The video lessons, prep books, and QBank all tie into one another through learning modules for a pretty seamless experience. For example, if you're watching a video lesson on isomers but feel like you need more detail, they'll direct you over to chapter two of the Organic Chemistry Review Book for some in-depth notes. And if post video lesson you want to work practice problems that target what you learn about isomers, you can create a custom quiz in the QBank that only has isomer problems. Essentially, all of the material ties in with itself, which is an awesome organizational system that really helps. The Kaplan course as a whole has a more cohesive feel than Princeton's course. Their curriculum is just a little jumpier and more sporadic. Okay, so differentiator number three, practice material. For us, Kaplan has more realistic practice material than Princeton Review. And let me be clear about something. Both companies leverage the AAMC practice materials. That's kind of a no-brainer. That's the cream of the crop of MCAT practice material and both companies lean on it heavily. But outside of that, for each company's in-house curated content, we prefer Kaplan's, finding it to be more realistic of what you'll see on test day. This used to be a bit of an Achilles heel for Kaplan, but they've actually made some really nice improvements in the last couple of years. And we now think their practice tests are a better match for the content, length, style, and difficulty of real MCAT passages and prompts. And by the way, like I said, I'm trying to keep this video a little shorter because it is just a video after all. So if you want more detail on either program's specific practice materials, make sure to check out that full detailed written comparison that I mentioned. Again, I'll have it linked down below in the description for you. Then lastly, we've got cost. When it comes to pricing between these two companies, Kaplan does have an advantage over Princeton Review. Let me quickly break it down. Although Kaplan technically has four packages to choose from, there are really just two that I want to talk about since this is probably where 80 or 90% of students will fall. Their self-paced on-demand course and their live online course. The on-demand course costs right around $1,900 and the live online course costs around $2,400. 
Now, conversely, Princeton Review has four different packages. They've also got a self-paced course that costs $2,000, about a hundred bucks more than Kaplan. Then there's the live online course that costs around $2,800, which is about $400 more than Kaplan's course. And then Princeton Review actually has a couple unique courses that Kaplan doesn't have. Intensive courses with score guarantees of 513 or 515. I'll talk about these two options here in a second in the Princeton Review section of this video, but just know they are pricey. These options started around $3,500 and go up from there. So when you step back and stack these two companies up side by side, Kaplan clearly has an edge when it comes to cost. For the two primary course options, their on-demand package is about hundred bucks cheaper and their live online course is $400 cheaper than Princeton. So that's definitely an advantage that they have. But one thing I will say here is that because both companies are in fierce competition with each other and other MCAT companies, they're both very aggressive with their deals and special promos, and you can almost always find a discount on their courses, so make sure to check for codes. In fact, I'll actually do my best to keep the description below updated with the most current coupon codes that I can find floating around out there, so make sure to check out that text below the video screen before buying. You can usually save at least a few hundred dollars with each company, so make sure to check that out. Okay, so now that you know the strengths of the Kaplan course, let's get to Princeton Review's highlights. And we have them winning in three key areas, better practice problem explanations, the rotating team approach to teaching live classes, and score guarantees. So again, let's run down this list in order and start with the problem explanations. So just to provide a little context here, the text explanations that the AAMC provides with their questions are more or less useless. Some of them are seriously like, answer A is correct because B, C, and D are incorrect. That's the level of uselessness. So it's really on MCAT prep companies to beef these up and come up with their own solutions to practice material, even AAMC practice material. And when it comes to answer explanations, Princeton reviews are very good. They're detailed, yet explained in a very simple, easy to understand way, and offer actionable takeaways. We really like them. Now, conversely, we see this as somewhat of a weak spot for Kaplan. Kaplan doesn't have too many weaknesses in their MCAT program, but this is definitely one of them. Their problem explanations are just okay. They're serviceable, but definitely on the thin side. So we give Princeton Review an advantage when it comes to reviewing practice work. Then the next thing I want to talk about is Princeton's rotating team approach to teaching live classes. One of the cool things that Princeton Review does for their live classes is rather than giving you one instructor that you stick with throughout your full class schedule, they'll have a team of five or six different MCAT instructors that rotate in and out of your classes based on their specialty. They have instructors that specialize in chemistry and cars and biology and basically every subject tested on the MCAT. So while you kind of lose the continuity of having just one teacher, you also get instructors with very deep and specific knowledge. And it's really evident when you're in the class. Your instructors are seriously masters of the individual subjects that they teach, and we see this as a major advantage. Now to be clear, this isn't to imply that we're not fans of the way Kaplan teaches their classes. Kaplan actually uses dual instructors to teach their classes where one instructor works the chat function while the other teaches. So students can get questions answered on the side quietly without distracting others, which was a nice feature. And the Kaplan instructors are definitely good in their own right. But bottom line, we just really like the subject matter expert rotation approach that Princeton uses. And lastly, score guarantees. So as I just talked about a minute ago, Princeton Review actually has some really cool packages with score guarantees. They call these packages their MCAT 513 plus and 515 plus immersion. They are highly intensive courses with extra prep work loaded on. But if you're looking to guarantee yourself a top tier score, it's a great option. Kaplan isn't willing to go out on a limb like that and start making these types of guarantees. But if there is one downside with these two options, because they are more intensive and carry those guarantees, they cost a lot more. The 513 course costs around $3,500 and the 515 course costs around $7,300. So definitely not cheap. But again, we do see these two options discounted pretty heavily most times of the year, so do be sure to check below for coupon codes if you go for one of these two options. But anyway, that about covers the detail in this comparison, so let's get to my final thoughts on which course you should go with. But before I get to that, I should just mention that every single month here at Test Prep Insight, we actually give away a free prep course to one lucky person. It's super simple to enter. Everyone out there is eligible. I'll put all the details down below in the description on how to get entered, but just know it takes like 10 seconds and hey, you never know, you could win yourself a totally free MCAT prep course from Kaplan or Princeton Reveal. Okay, the final verdict. So this one is a tough call because each company definitely has clear strengths, but here's what I would say. I would personally go with Kaplan in most situations. 
Over the last couple of years, Kaplan has made a big push to revamp and improve their MCAT course with changes like a new program structure and video lessons, while Princeton Review has sort of just stayed the course. Their course hasn't really evolved a whole lot since 2020. So as of today, we think Kaplan just offers a stronger MCAT course and our team gives them a better rating based on all of those improvements that they've made. That being said, Princeton Review is still a very solid course and you really can't go wrong with them, especially if you're looking for an intensive course with score guarantees. But at this point, in a head-to-head -head comparison between these two, we think Kaplan is the superior course and that's who we recommend. But anyway, I hope this video has been helpful and you learned a little something about both Kaplan and Princeton Review. If so, make sure to return the favor by subscribing to our channel, liking this video, and drop me a quick comment below. That would be really appreciated. And again, if you wanna see that full detailed written comparison of these two courses that I mentioned earlier in this video, just hop on over to our website, testprepinsight.com, or check out the other videos on our YouTube channel. We've got a bunch of great content out there. But as always, thanks for watching, best of luck, and I'll see you in the next one.